it is therefore pertinent to audit how much democracy has done for or to Nigeria. Let me pose the question again. From hope 93 to 2013, when Nigeria has, has now attained 14 years of unbroken civil rule, how far have we come as a nation? If 1993 signified hope, what can we say of 2013? I know that we are, we, we, we are not happy with many things in Nigeria, but I'm coming to tell you that as a citizen of Nigeria, I can tell you clearly that our country has traveled a distance from Jude 12. Today there is this perception that everybody in government is a leper. This is a perception, and I want you to dismiss that perception. And I don't think I have an apology for anybody for being in government because by my conscience I know what I do for this country. So it is also a perception that every letter of yesterday that's out of government is a sense. I am not here to praise anybody, but let me tell you that even the democratic dispensation we're having in Nigeria today, the national democratic dispensation, which has enabled power to shift among different blocks, is a journey that has taken so long and cost. Since 1964, we have been in that journey. If you take a look at what has happened, 1964, 1993, 9, uh, uh, 2011, there is a, a strand, a trail that is going through it. It is not a matter for discussion and debate here today. But people who understand the Nigerian polity and understand where we are going will clearly see that our country has made progress, it has changed, it is changing, it will continue to change. You're asking questions about power. You're asking questions about infrastructure. You're asking questions about education. You're asking questions of social institutions. Now, let me, thank you very much. But let me now explain something to you. One of the things we will say, even if we're not happy, is that today we have more access to telephones than ever we were before this period. Now, it is, listen, you can also take some time to go and look. If you're in Benin, go to a hub bar. You will see a big power plant that is being completed. If you're in Sapele, there is a big power plant there that has been hooked to the national grid. If you're in uh, Calabar, go to Dupani, you will see a new power plant that is being built. If you're in Aba, go to Alaoje, you will see a new power plant that is being completed. So there are 10 of them we are building. 10 at the same time. We never had that in this country before. In fact, according to the, to the, to the, to the geometric uh, general manager, that ABA will not only have uninterrupted power supply, but uninterruptible power supply. Oh. That is not going to come from government. But that is going to come from an environment that government has changed to make it possible for people to participate in this industry, which is a multi-billionaire industry that will in itself generate itself and give people electricity. It's for every citizen. You're in charge of good health care, good education, security, blah, 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 blah. That can never be privatized. That can never be Power, evil power. As a country, we should say at least on our own, we owe our citizens a minimum number of hours a day. And let us be consistent about saying it's wrong. Yeah. We're not saying it's wrong today to hear us loud enough, and then the minute we'll get you in my son it out. Power, for example, he has explained. So our challenge to him would be, if you told us there are tech plants in production, is these tech plants in another one year, sir? We must hear. Why you don't hear? What happened? I'm not saying the NGOs are totally right. Yes, Pastor Bakari was very, very, very right in most of the things he said. The answers of the Minister of uh, Information, he was also very right. <laughs> in, defending, <laughs> in defending the government, he served. <laughs> For every occasion I see Labram Marco, I used to tell you, you know 
you are job. <laughs> I, I don't pass, I don't believe we should wait till that kingdom come. We started with Malaysia, we started with Indonesia, we started with Singapore, we started with Lebanon, we started with minor countries. Today, the Honorable Minister is here. Very highly intellectually mobile Nigeria. Do not think it's much. Highly intellectually mobile Nigeria. The minister, the, in fact, the president is fortunate that he made a man who understands the rules as his minister. Because if not, the little is been able to pass here would have been impossible. That is the truth. As I speak to you, the indices by the Minister of Information and indeed the Minister of Finance and many other ministers in terms of GDP, GNP, inflation, and all those figures. How does that have any positive concomitant effect on the price of the market? <laughs> Our own GDP is this. When President Jonathan came to power in 2011, the price of one bag of rice is 8,500. Today it is 12,000. That's my GDP. I was part of those who worked on the budget of 2011. In 2011, we passed a budget for subsidy to the tune of 245 billion. For subsidy. Please listen so that you will understand what I'm saying. We passed a budget for subsidy for 245 billion. But the Jonathan government ended up spending 2.3 trillion. Over 2 trillion above the budget. Anywhere you want. Once you have extra budgetary expenditure that is not approved by National Assembly, it's immediate punishment. The Appropriation Act is a law. People forget that, that it's a law. So any breach or non compliance with that act is a breach of law. <laughs> Today, as I speak to you, if you remove two trillion from the economy of Ghana, Ghana will collapse. As I speak, it's in public, it's in the public service act that once you are indicted of corruption, you have to be suspended. Yes. <laughs> Today we have a minister in this government, and I'm saying it without fear of people. She has been indicted by six reports. Yes. Six different reports. The first is the KPMG report. Yes. KPMG is an international auditing firm. Indicted NNPC, indicted PBPRA, indicted the minister. Because the minister is also the chairman of NNPC, the board of NNPC. The second is the Farouk Lawa report. The third is the Senate report on subsidy. The fourth is the Nugu Ibadu report. The fifth is the High Imogode report. The last and the sixth is the Nati report. <laughs> Yet, a minister has been indicted by six different reports. But that minister is still elegantly attired and cosmopolitan fashion every Wednesday in diamonds. Sitting in the Federal Executive Council under the watchful eyes of an unbattled president. If you tackle corruption today, what you are calling your scorecard, but this is the first time in the in, 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 in south of the Sahara and north of the Liverpool, that a man will write exams, he will determine his marketing scheme and mark himself. <laughs> it is not government that will mark themselves, it is we the people. Yeah. It is not government. Yeah. We are saying this, I'm saying this because the minister is here. And the minister is also a representative of the people in government. So, sir, you need to get this back to the president. When Peter and Paul, they prayed and prayed, nothing happened. When they sang, the prison gates was open. When they were praying around the walls of Jericho, nothing happened. They sang, that wall came down. We 
saying it for the first time. I've had him on different theaters. <laughs> Making, yeah, because this is what you call perfect raborazi. I've had him in different theaters. Making these proclamations. Some of those cases, like he mentioned against some of the ministers, they are in court with him. So I don't want to intervene and I don't want to enter there. As I said, I am coming on a long road. I have been on all parts of the islands. And so God has placed me here today to be able to say to you frankly, this is what we have done and this is what is going on in our country. I am not going to compete with anybody in rousing the crowd or shouting. But I can tell you very clearly that after this period, after this period, yes, 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 we are free to say no. That is part of why we are here. 